Hello Aquarius, welcome to Salt Intuition Tarot. This is your reading for the next several days and remember this is general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. It may be something that's already happened or just something that's happened you need confirmation on. And so we do have two cards right out the gate. So here we go Aquarius, let's see what's going on. We have hero and heroine. The light attribute is passion for a journey of personal empowerment. The bad side of it, the shadow side, is escapism and a false sense of heroism. We also have rebel. Challenges authority to affect social change. Rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Shadow attributes or rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. So, some of y'all are just being rebels. You have a passion to go on your own. You have a passion for freedom. You do not like people to tell you what to think or what to do. Aquarius is all about freedom. So, let's get the, the tarot cards out and see what's going on for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius in the days coming up? So we do have being hasty, making quick decisions. That is the Knight of Wands. Uh, somebody loves a challenge. So you're being a rebel. You like a challenge. We also have uh, feeling abandonment or abandoning plans. Looks like you, you like a, a challenge. But you may end up having to walk away or letting go. Uh, Maybe traveling just to escape a situation. Or you may have or just moving on from someone. You lost patience. Losing patience. Uh, having discord. So it looks like somebody was being reckless and hasty. Maybe left the situation before the time and abandoned. That could be you doing it or the person on your mind. Or are you just getting away for, from a situation, um, thinking about yourself, self-indulgence? Then we do have moving to calmer water. You know, wanting to stay out of conflict. You left because you don't want any conflict. You'd rather be away than be around someone you're going to have to be in conflict with. Or people. Maybe you're celebrating with friends. You'd rather hang out with buddies, friends, and, you know, celebrate. Or you're celebrating because you was able to make an escape. Or wherever you did, you did get to celebrate. What else? For Aquarius. We do have... Uh, someone who does not plan for tomorrow... That is the page of cups in reverse. So Y'all just acting like I'm just living for today. I'm not planning for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what's coming up. But I'm going to be able to tackle it. Because, you know, most Aquariuses are loners to begin with. And they really, you know, don't like making plans for the future. They're just winging it. So you're just winging it. Or you're trying to wing it. We do have... Uh, Patience, you know, just getting into the same old routine. This is your routine. That's what you do. You're just not planning for tomorrow. You're winging it. You're celebrating with friends. Just hanging out with friends. Everything's just um, whatever can keep you out of conflict or around people that have conflict or start drama. You're just not having it. So this reading is a rebel without a cause. <laughs> Feeling trapped. Some of y'all are feel trapped and with the situation feeling prison prisoned and you know restricted mostly so you do not want any restrictions and we do have you new uh, may have a new beginning or a new relationship coming up with someone while you're socializing who is this person we're talking about could be a Pisces definitely Maybe y'all are having some anxiety or fear about a new beginning with someone. That could be the case. 
But it looks like there will be um, some sex coming up for you. Looks like it will be a sexual relationship that's coming up for you. Maybe when you're socializing, you find somebody. Maybe you might just hook up. That might be just what you need. And then when I picked that up, it went in reverse. So that means unrequited love, blocked or repressed emotion. Um, so this is talking about a hookup here. So you might meet someone while you're out socializing with friends, being a rebel, <laughs> just doing your own thing. Maybe you have a hookup somewhere. Uh, for some of y'all, you just don't know what to do. I feel like maybe there's some obstacles going on. Why is it? does it always just end at a sexual, physical connection? Why is it? With the Ace of Swords, it's talking about realizing the truth. What do you realize the truth on? That these people end up toxic. Or it could be a Capricorn, but I'm thinking that these people end up toxic. Somebody you don't even want to be around. Uh, that's what the truth is. And that's why it doesn't get any further than the sexual side of things. But hey, you may like that. It looks like it's repetitive and boring to y'all. You're just tired of the same old shit, the same old people. So I can see why, you know, y'all are going out on your own, just doing your own thing. It's like you already know what's going to happen before it even does. So what is the most likely outcome for you feeling frustrated? But you're going to have money, that's for sure. And uh, being fickle in love, you're just not going to uh, put yourself out there to people that don't deserve you. That's the most likely outcome. You'll get tired of it. Uh, you know, you just... Uh, don't you're not going to sacrifice unnecessarily for people that don't deserve your time and attention. So, what's some advice for Aquarius? What's some advice for Aquarius? We have work on your fin uh, financials, just keep on working, uh, work on your stability and abundance and manifest whatever that you want. Looks like you will get an opportunity to make a little money. So Grab that opportunity. All right, Aquarius, Salt Intuition Tarot. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Catch you on the flip side.